Hello everybody! What day is today? Today is games day. Today is a day to compete against me. So I expect you to be ready, to be mm, mentally prepared, concentrated and with full energy. Okay, today is going to be a very intense mm, lesson or session. So be, be mm, prepared to put much effort on it, there's going to be a lot of movement in this, uh, in this lesson and we're going to raise a lot. I'm going to start just saying the equipment and, uh, and I will start to warm up while you prepare it as always. I don't want to talk so much because I always run out of time and I want to, to finish one lesson on time at least. Well, the equipment. You will need five, six pairs of socks, as always. We need one stick, show you, one stick, one or two tennis balls, two chairs, and that's it today. That's it today. Never forget water and Maybe a towel in case you sweat a lot to clean. Good. Then we're gonna start with the with the warm up already. I hope you enjoy this lesson. We're gonna start with jumping jacks. Can be half or complete. You remember? Faster, now we are going to include some coordination, having the hands here, we are going to open, front, open, front, open, front, open, front, like that, there you go, changing the leg, that goes to the front. If you talk now, you can lose the coordination. <laughs> Stay there. Good. Now, new exercise similar to pulling the rope or climbing the rope and breaking the connect. And is the wood Cutter. So with hands together here, up, down, up, down, up, down. There you go. Come on. Imagine it. There is a, a piece of wood here. Yeah. You can give it more intensity by contracting the muscles, all the muscles in the way down. Whoop. Whoop. Cut. Good, good, perfect. Side jumps. Front and back. Knees up. Heels up. Okay, so movement here and rotation. And rotation. 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 Keep. Change. Knees, change, ankles, change, change direction, good arms.
Sprint. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more before we stretch are the kicks. Kick. 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 You start in protection position here. And this is called dynamic flexibility. What muscles are we stretching? You know? If you said hamstrings, that's right. If you say even gastrocnemius will be right also. And a bit the gluteals. So all the chain behind. All the chain. Good. We're gonna stretch the other muscles. We start from the bottom. How is this called? Three, two, one. You guessed it? Gastronemius. Good. Change. There was someone who wrote me in an email that she was learning already the, the name of the muscles. And that made me that made me happy. <laughs> because that's the goal of saying the name. The names. You know, in the GCSE, you're gonna need to know these names. Now, the squad sets. And which one? Three, two, one. Hamstrings. Good. There you go. Change. Good. We keep going up and comes this one. What are we stretching there? The doctors. Good. That one there. It's a long one. Change. And we keep going up. We do this to stretch the three, two, one. Hip flexors. Well done. Well done. Hip flexors. That one here. Change. Responsible of flexion at the hip, which is this movement, that's the flexion of the hip. We keep going up, abdominals. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Once again, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Now, latissimus dorsi at the back. Good. We keep going up, we can do the deltoids. One, two, three, Four, five, change. One, two, three, four, five, change. We go down to the biceps and triceps. First biceps. Remember this one? Stretching also pectoralis major. And there. But mainly the biceps and triceps. One. Finger flexors also would be good. Can you see it? Like that. Good. Let's start. We're going to start with the jumping game. As I told you in other lessons, I really like to jump. I think jumping you uh, work out a lot of muscles and also the power is very important to. Mm, make us feel really strong. Yeah. So, six pairs of socks. You can use five, you can use four, and no problem. But if you're gonna, if you want that the race is a fair race, you need to use as many as I need to use. <laughs> so, I'm going three steps away, and when I say go, I'm gonna go jumping. I take one pair and I come back. I leave it there and I go to the next one. To pick up the next one. This is going to make you 
maintain the legs or the feet together. That's something that usually is very difficult. So this way, if you don't want the socks to fall or to drop, you're going to need to keep them together. Ready? I start on this line. I have a clear line there. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Next one. Go on. Oh, keep going. Be more poor. Half race. No, I keep one. One pair of socks. It went too far. I'm gonna leave it for the last one. Keep going. Yeah. Here it is. And, oh no, I lost it. Yay! Woo. How was it? I made a mistake. Maybe I should have put the pair of socks more separated because when I was trying to get the third one I kicked the other one the fourth one sorry I kicked the fifth one Ooh, and it went away so we're gonna compete again just with three because I think today we are Timing much better. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I start from the left side now. Whoa. One. Whoa. Two. Come on, come on, come on. Fast, fast, fast. Go, 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 go. Time. This was a nice race. If you beat me, you did really well. Because this second round, I think I did much better than in the first one. Because with the experience of the exercise before, I could manage to have a new strategy with the socks more separated. Let's move on. Good. Now, Balance and coordination. I'm going to change. I'm going to move this a little bit because now I'm going to work there. Yeah. Balance and coordination. We're going to be one minute trying to have the stick in balance. And at the same time, I need to throw the ball. Yeah? It's very difficult. So, one, two, three, four. We start the first round with the stick on the left and the ball on the right. For the bravest ones, you can throw to the wall. That makes it even more difficult. So throw into the wall, let it bounce, and then catch it. That's very, very, very difficult. If you achieve that, you are machines. So three, two, one, go. One. Two, oh, no. Three, four, no. Five, six, seven, oh, eight, no. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five seconds. Oh no, that doesn't count. And 16. Change. Now the stick on the right hand and the ball in the left hand. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, that doesn't count. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh. eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14, no. 15, five seconds. 16, no. 17, time. 17, and I tip 17. I think it's not much, but I don't know. I need to compare with your marks to know, to know if I did well or not. So, write me, as always. Mm, good. Now, chairs and stick. Chairs and stick. This game is called the side kangaroo. Kangaroo. So, uh, if you have lower chairs, you can use them. I use these because are the ones that I have. But we're gonna jump sideways, but racing at the same time. So I'm gonna put three pair of socks here. Uh, hope you can see them. Yes. I'm gonna start on the other side, and I'm gonna jump sideways. So three, like three, two, one. One right here, one, two, three. I get one, one, two, three, and back. A little bit there, and I go for the next one. Understood? Every time, I'm going to use one pair more. So that we do, this is going to be hard. We do each way. Facing to a different side. Okay? And get ready. Three, two, one, go. Being so tired that I couldn't think properly. Because of it, I forgot to turn around in the last uh, way. So we are finished with this game. Let me check the time. Okay, we still have the minute. Can you believe it? And we just have two games to play. Okay, this is a difficult one now. I will recommend you to use the big ones because the big ones are easier to, to pick with the legs, with the feet. So, we're going to start. You remember that game that we did? And we were changing them from one side to the other. So we're going to race doing something similar. We're going to need to go there first with one. One and I move. One and I move. You know? And then when I arrive here, the way back to the socks is in crack position. I arrive here, I can start again. One, one, and what's the energy? You're gonna get an advantage. I am sure that you understand it. So let's continue it. <laughs> Ready? Three, two. One, go! Come on, 
quickly. Quickly. Okay, car position, the way back. Good. Come on. Whew. Starting, is that it? Okay, and the way back. In grab position, time. This was hard for the shoulders, for the wrists, also the biceps and triceps were working well, especially the triceps. We're going to compete again. Now the other way around. That way we move between working the abdominals, you know, in this movement we're working the abdominals. And also hip flexors. So, we're going to do it this way now. Get ready. Good. I am ready. Three, two, go. <laughs> I'm cheating. Come on. Come on. Three more. Now way back. Grab. Go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yay! Whoa, we are working so well today. Our muscles are saying, thank you. <laughs> Gonna check the time again. Six minutes for the last game. Good. We're gonna use two pairs of socks as uh, cones. So I'm gonna put one here uh, where you can see me and one three steps away. One, two, three. Step. I call this the walking frog. <laughs> Why? We know that frogs used to jump. Right? that this frog is going to walk in a very special way. So we're going to get into frog position and the point of this game is that first the legs are going to walk forwards and then you can move the arms. Okay? Just beat the walking frog. Get ready, we're going to race two times. Three, three laps. We start first from the right side and then we're going to start from the left side. I will check the time again to know how many laps we can do the second round. I'm going to wait for the first one. Prop position. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Lap one. It's hard, isn't it? The more you stretch, the easier it becomes. Because you go, or you cover many more meters. Continue, last lap. Oh, I'm getting tired. On G, I see you moving the arms and the legs at the same time. I bet that you thought that this exercise was much lighter. It's a hard one, isn't it? Now, I take time. First, I think it's wet. The sweat is always a good sign. Oh, we still have three minutes. Then, three laps of this amazing game. Now we start on the left side. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Now 
Allen, get into push up position. Because I thought it was better than run before. Lap one. Ooh, the legs are getting tired already. Oh, I think I move the toe, sorry. Last lap. Come on, last four. We need to be brave. We cannot give up. Never give up. Come on. Oh. Oh. I have no words. <laughs> I just need to breathe in, breathe out, and get the oxygen that my brain and my muscles now need. <laughs> so I think it's what it was a very or a lesson with a high intensity. You always can adapt. The exercises to your level, making them more difficult, easier, and that's up to you. So I'm just like a guide now. I'm presenting some exercises that usually I adapt to my likes, to what I think is better or it's more fun, and, uh, and that's it. The same I do, you can do it also. So. You just need to believe in yourself. Thank you very much for being there. Have a nice long weekend and see you on Monday. Bye.